Right, so first look uh, we are doing is Sorceress. Uh, this came out, actually it came out a couple of years ago. Um, developed and published by Serenum Studios. Um, I just want to say thank you to Keymailer for the game key, much appreciated. It is a RPG, JRPG. Uh, it looks like it's been done in RPG Maker. Uh, the sudden disappearance will set Apprentice Mage Andraste on the trail of a mystery that unfolds with arcane powers, monster battles and cunning puzzles in the best tradition of turn-based RPGs. Uh, not a very expensive game. We shall load this up, give it a quick look at. Um, I'm just going to get my controller. Let me just lower the music down a wee bit. Can I put this up to full screen? I'll put it up to there. Okay, new game. Aren't you a little old for bedtime stories? No. No way. Come on, Aunt Minerva, please. Oh, all right. Magic, the art of gathering power and focusing it with intentions to create wondrous and devastating effects, existed long before man. But from his earliest days, he has coveted it. Cruel and greedy men hoarded it, killed for it, and always wanted more of it. All the while, the people were assailed by unclean spirits, the restless dead, and beasts of every shape and size. They needed hope. They needed protection. They needed heroes. And so, small in number at first, Brave warriors and wise wizards came together. And became the coolest heroes ever. There have been many great heroes in Meridius, but yes, we are cool. If you want to be an arcane knight, you will need to do well at your first day at Hexengard tomorrow. A uh, move with the arrow keys was odd. Click on the mission. Can we not use the controller? We can't. Yeah? Yeah, we can use controller. Hey sis, come listen to the Vox with me. Quest started the big D. Listen to the Vox with Declan. Okay. What's the Vox? There's an interview with Lord Melkier on the Vox. Turn it on, would you? All right, Declan. I'll listen to the Vox with you. Well, that's the Vox. Okay. Good evening, Letha. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Olberg Element. I'm your host, Lance Olberg. Tonight, I'm joined by Letha's celestial prior, Lord Melkier. Welcome, sir. Glad to be here, Lance. Lord Melkier, during your tenure as prior of Letha, you have massively increased operations against Malakarum and unsanctioned spellcasting. Unusual for an RPG maker indie game to have voiceover and even militant how do you respond i don't think that expresses what we're trying to accomplish i've increased operations outside of lethe itself into historically ignored regions i have a responsibility to everyone not just middle and upper classes i'm not willing to man the battlements and let outlying communities fight off arcane and supernatural threats as best they can so you're not a zealot? You're a bold defender of the innocent? I'm a man who's not willing to stand idly by while innocent people suffer. <laughs> I'll be interested in hearing more of your actual policies right after these messages. Let's click on that. Go to bed. Okay. Which bedroom's ours? Is this our bedroom? Tomorrow's my first day at Hexengard. I need to be ready. <coughs> oh no, something's happened. That scream came from Aunt Minerva's room. Okay, where's Aunt Minerva? The red pile on the floor. The splodge. Eklund, where are you? He must have gone to see if everything is okay. No, he didn't. Just look. What is this stuff? <laughs> it's blood. Exactly. Can we put the armor on? Yeah. 
Can we take the weapon? I don't have time for this now. I need to check on Aunt Minerva. I would have taken a sword. Something obviously nasty has happened. I presume she's downstairs. No? No, she's not downstairs. Where is she then? Is this her bedroom? Hello? Is everything okay? I'm coming in. Oh no. Aunt Minerva? Are you here? Obviously not Hello? here. Hello? What happened here? The whole building could be on fire. I need to get out of here. I need to find help. I never even noticed the flames. So I was too busy looking at all the other stuff lying about. <laughs> Can we not pick anything up? Oh, what's that? Yeah, okay, right. She's got an atrocious hand weapon. Aunt Minerva? Eh? How did we get oh, here? How did we get here? I just asked that. Wait, where are you going? She's going north. Let's not step in the fire. Oh, oh she's got wings. Who are you? Andraste. Only light can conquer darkness. What an awful dream. I need to get my spell book, get changed, and head downstairs to find my sword. Get changed, find your spell book, and go downstairs. Access your quest log. Open the main menu and select the quest log. Yeah. How do we open the main menu? That one. Uh, how do I get over there? Over there. Okay. Main quest. The big day. Get changed. Find your spell book. Yeah. We know that. How do I get over there? Okay. So we've got skills, have we? She's got martial. So we've got sword, sharpened by incantations and hardened by enchantments. This blade is as honed as the skill of its wielder. So it's got a bit warm in here. And what else we got? Mm. Nothing. Arcane fire. Flames burn all they touch. Right, where's my spell book going to be? Get ready for school, yeah. Okay, all set. I've got 15 gold. Where's my spell book going to be? Okay. Mysterious places, daring adventures, heroes and magic, far away from the dingy streets of Leth. Okay, I don't know where her spell... Is this her spell book here? There's my spell book. I would hate to lose this thing. To equip the spell book. Okay, we need to go to the equip tab. Okay, my m mouse is moving about on the other screen as well. Okay, so we've equipped the book. I don't have anything else, okay. Right, let's head downstairs. Okay, now I need my sword. It's downstairs somewhere. That's where we were headed. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a wall. Okay. I was wondering why I couldn't move over to the right. Somebody's left the toilet seat up. Look. Dreadful. presume this is our sword. I know that's Aunt Minerva's. Where's our sword then? Was there spears? Poking sticks. Take this one? No. Where's our Oh, there's swords up at the top there. They were just hiding off the top of the screen. Look. Here it is. Balance of weapons, magic and utility gives her options in and out of combat. 
go to the academy in Giga Square. Okay. Have we equipped the sword? Because we had to equip the other thing. No? Okay, it's equipped now. I thought we'd equipped it already. No? Can I optimize? So where is the sword then? Hmm. Right, we need to head out of here. We need to head to the academy. Good. I have plenty of time to catch the train. Do you? That's what you think. Excuse me, miss? I'm looking for Minerva Rosenfeld. This is where she lives, right? Yes, this is the right place. She's just seeing my brother off at the Letha Sky Dock. She should be back in a few hours. I see. Thank you very much, Miss... Oh, Andraste. Please excuse me, I have a train to catch. No problem, Andraste. I'll wait. Have... So how do we get to the railway station? What are these things? They opened a new switchboard for the Tri-District area. It might be a good place to find part-term work. Can we go this way? No. Is that a subway? One district over. Why don't you watch where you're going? <gasps> oh, sorry. Listen in. Approaching people in conversation may give you important information. Okay, so if we go wander near these people. Don't you think you're making a semantic argument? As scholars of the arcane, we both know there are no semantic arguments. Splitting hairs, then. The phenomenon of ex nihilo, nihilo? nihilo. in spellcasting has been present, well, since the beginning. I think it's absurd to say that when I cast a spell that creates ex nihilo, we are referring to my will and intentions as well as the ichor I'm using as nothing. Hmm, you know I find it absurd that we're standing here debating about nothing. We'll go up here. Now, now, Madeline, be nice. I'm sure this little author has never been somewhere so populated. I've been to the city before. Just not... Then you should know how to walk around without blundering into people. Am I interrupting? Not at all. This author is just unfamiliar with how the city works. Well, the first thing you should know about Letha is that most astrals don't act like we're superior to everyone else. Most of us know better. Roderick, we don't have time for this. Let's just go. Mostly they've done the voice recording in different places, haven't they? Because it's, some have got a slight echo to them. And Fair point, sister. I'm just surprised there's so much recording. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Like I said, most astrals don't think like that. Oh, I know. I've been to Letha before, just not without my pack around. Ah, uh, I get that. I'm Andraste. Nice to meet you. My name's Lupa. Come on, Andraste. Let's get inside before orientation starts. Here we go. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Okay, your name, Apprentice. My name's Andraste St. Clair. Welcome to the Tower of Sorcery, Apprentice St. Clair. The Hex and Meister is about to address the new students. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Balthazar, Hexenmeister of Stormhaven. The Elder Council has seen fit to place me in charge of this institution and your education. In ancient times, long before the Elder Council, before the fragmented mass of mages' guilds, court wizards, and occult societies it arose from, even before Iker itself, magic was in the hands of an elite few, those born to use it, but no longer. Malachi, king of the Mizrahi, Malachi, the first wizard, changed all that. Now, anyone can wield magic, and they do. It powers our cities 
It protects our borders and shapes our future. You have entered the venerated halls of Hexengard to make magic your own. Whether through the skills you develop or the natural talent that you hone, you will become a mage, but a word of caution. Learn to wield this power wisely, or you will not wield it at all. It will wield you. Now then, to class. All of you, it wouldn't do to be late on your first day. It's complete. My first class is Dungeoneering, down on the lower levels. The elevators at the back of the hall will take... Okay, let's, let's go down and see if we can actually... Okay, so that's a checkpoint for saving. I want to see what the combat was like. Quickly. How do I get up there? Oh, oh that's an elevator. All right, over here. Learn about dungeoneering. Hmm. I talk to you? Hello, oh, sweetheart. I'm Nurse Angel, and it's my job to make sure you're happy and healthy. If you get any boo boos, I'll make you all better. After all, we can't have any repeats of the incident. Nurse. Oh, sorry, we don't talk about who can't, Henry. Nurse. <laughs> so, what am I meant to do? I appreciate your enthusiasm, apprentice, but you should change it to something more practical. After all, you don't want to mess up your new uniform, do you? Oh, so I need to go down here, okay. Get changed, yeah. Okay. Good morning, ladies. I'm Professor Falk. Welcome to Dungeoneering. This semester, we'll be going over the basics of navigation, arcane and mundane locks, as well as environmental hazards like... It's Columbo. Products and mushrooms. Peter Falk. Oh no, not pizza toppings. Oh, wait, they're here. <laughs> right. Since you two are so confident, you can be the first in my practice dungeon. Okay, let's get this over with. Hmm, it's locked. I can fix that. Apprentice, my door can take whatever you can dish out. <laughs> I doubt that. Good thing I have a key. I'll take that. Oh. It's us. It's us up now. Wait. You need the key. Give me the key. Here you go, kid. I'll be watching you from the sidelines. You got a grey key. I'm Stormy, by the way. Oh, right. I'm Andraste. Hmm, that's a cool name. All right, Andraste. I'll follow your lead. Wait. We're gonna get to talk My daughter completed this course in about five minutes. I let her run through last week for her sixth birthday. The first challenge is simple, a locked door. Where's the locked door? We got a blue key. What color? I bet it's the red key. Red and blue, just like the glasses. Stereo looking rather. I forgot what it's called. From time to time you will find natural hazards. Fungus, broken glass, lava. I have the same advice for all of them. Don't stereoglyph. Was it? I think it's stereoglyph. Oh, what was that? So, just some flash fire. Surprising, isn't it, kid? But watch, I don't go in the green stuff. You can run into all kinds of nasty things in caves and ruins, and you never want to run into them alone. You stay together, and you stay alive. Guess we need to go get this one. A yellow key. Stop. 
Some doors are sealed with magical devices, like the orbs in this room. You'll need what's in the crate to deactivate them. Okay, so I can't go over there. Enjoy the lights while you can. Halfway through the semester, I'll be turning them off. Caves and tunnels aren't known for their illumination. How do I get through the piles of... Oh, there. There's some kind of ring. It's an artificial ring. How do you know that? My dad's an artificial. Rings like that help you focus your attention on an object or device. So, you just put the ring on and... Or you can give it to me. I know what to do. Sounds good. Okay, let's do Stormy. It did work, and then it didn't work. Where did the ring go? I accidentally hit the... Enter button, or whatever it is, twice. Do you think she's equipped it? It would have been on there. We'll presume it's equipped. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your success depends on having the right tool for the job. Arcane Foki and artifacts give you new abilities and are required to solve puzzles. Too hot. Yeah, I know it's too hot. I accidentally went the same way again. You know, it would be more fun to blow up these orbs than to deactivate. <gasps> he would probably grade us down for that. Yeah, fear. So what are we going to do? Show this orb his boss. How, how it's up? Like that. I guess she's got the ring on. Okay girls, let me look at you. Not too bad. Just, but just be safe. Just to be safe, sorry. Let me take care of any old nasty old germs. This will only burn for a moment. That won't be necessary. Nice work, you two. Now go get washed up while we reset the dungeon. Alright, my next class is Wondrous Items, up on Academy level. So we're not getting to... I was hoping we'd get to see some fighting fairly early on. But it's not looking promising. It so should far. be the last classroom on the left. Presumably this one. <laughs> okay. They said left. Hello, this is in here. here. Welcome to Wondrous Items. Oh, hello. I'm Andraste. Andraste St. Clair. Very good. Take your seat. I don't know. It's that girl from this morning. So, a lot of tutorial -y stuff, isn't it, to start with? It's sort of just your average RPG Maker game, but with, um, with some voiceover, which is, as I say, is quite unusual. I'm just going to leave that one there. So, it's called... Sorceress. Um, what's it? What's fourteen plus hours of gameplay. Sixty handcrafted quests. Um, overheard conversations. Customize their party strategy is key to overcoming the many enemies that will try to put an end to your adventure. We've got uh, an arsenal of artifacts, foci, and magical tools. Hundreds of items. An engaging mysterious plot. 
uh, voice acting, yeah. Also, secrets. Four highly detailed regions to explore. Tense strategic battles, which we didn't get to see. Um, there's the battle. So, it's sort of your, of your standard RPG type fighting. It was quite nicely put together, though, for an RPG Maker type game. Uh, Sorceress, yeah. We're going to leave that one there. 